Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the electrical guide today. I want to show you how to test an outlet if you've got power here. If it's working like it should be working if it's wired correctly. I've got a few different things here to test it. And they're arranged in cheapest and easiest towards most expensive and potentially most complicated. So we'll start off with the easiest way we could possibly test an outlet. We'll just plug something in. And we have got power here. So this outlet is showing that something plugged in is working. That's a good step. Let's show you a couple other ways we could test. I think the second best way to test, or maybe even arguably the best way, is with one of these. However, it does require you purchase something. These things are awesome. They show you obviously here what the potential problem could be in your outlet and also are probably the cheapest of my options here. This guy will run you somewhere between 10 and $15. I'll leave links to all these things that I'm using today in the description below. So you can just plug this in and we're looking for two orange lights on the right side there and we do see them. Two orange lights represents that this is correctly wired and functional. Now, most of the time your outlets are gonna be the same on the top and the bottom. However, you might encounter a switched outlet one day. So if it only takes a second, you might as well test on the top and the bottom. My two lights on the right side again, so we are good. The next easiest way is with what's called a proximity tester. This just senses the presence of voltage and this thing will just go into the smaller of your two slots. This guy will run you maybe closer to $20 from the local hardware store. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so this guy's in here. You can see that it's flashing red. Hopefully you can see that. And you can hear that it's beeping. That's sensing the presence of voltage. Now, if you have a tamper resistant outlet, like I do, it may be difficult to push this in one side. So I would recommend maybe using this guy for the tamper resistant outlet. And if it's non tamper resistant, if there's no plastic shield in the slots, this will work just fine. Last but not least, we've got the digital multimeter. I have this set to voltage AC and I've removed the protective caps just to make it a little easier to insert. We're looking for about 120 volts. It's never quite 120. So that shows that there is indeed a normal voltage at this outlet. Hopefully with the various methods below here, you've learned what's best for you to use in testing your outlet. Thanks for watching another video with the electrical guide. Be sure to like and subscribe if you appreciate the content.